All right, everybody, this is Captain Trey Thorpe, my mate Zebco Rick on the camera right now. Today we're doing a little bit of boat maintenance. And just to give you a little backstory, about a month or so ago, we had, we were in a tournament about 4 a.m. We went to the back of the boat to reel in a fish and we're standing in two inches of water. We had 130 pounds of fish in the box so the first thing I was worried about was the live well, thinking maybe that had sprung a leak. Not the case, unfortunately. Uh, we popped open the back hatches and it looked like a geyser coming out of the floorboard. A little, little startling, but uh, we knew we hadn't hit anything the whole night, so we got it up, got it started up, got all the rods and everything up, got on plane, got up the river, made it back safely, thank goodness. But that uh, made us get to looking around, and especially if you have an old fiberglass boat, this is something you want to really keep an eye on. It's just a standard $6 through-hole fitting, but if you can see there, there's a big crack starting. We had one on the other side that had a way bigger crack and that was our problem. But since then it's made me a little hyper uh, cautious about it. So we tend to check these and we see this one starting to let go on it. So today we're gonna walk you through changing one of these. And uh, we've got the replacement through hull fitting and a little bit of marine adhesive, 32, uh, 5200 adhesive. And what that's going to do is it's going to set up on the inside and get it locked down and watertight. So uh, I'm going to take you on the inside, show you what's going on in there, and show you how to get this thing done. Alrighty. Now I know this is everybody's favorite part about owning a boat, is the boat maintenance. But what I'm going to show you real quick, that's where my fitting comes in. It goes into a T. But I'm just gonna worry about getting that nut off, and I'm gonna take my channel locks, hook up to it, and give it a twist. Hopefully, I'll have some success here. Alrighty, now that I got a little bit of light, I can show you a little better. Uh, this is the old fitting. Like I said, it wasn't bad yet, but that crack had me nervous enough. As you can see, it's actually a crack there. So. We got rid of that. Here's all the adhesive that pushed out on the inside. Rick's scraping the outside now. And uh, we'll go throw this new fit in here in, in just a sec and go from there. Quick look at the outside. And basically, the new fit will plug right in, but you don't want to do it that way. You want to apply a generous amount of the 5200 adhesive sealant because when you Put it in and start to tighten it down that adhesive will mushroom out and fill all the gaps and make sure everything seals tightly as it sets up you can always wi uh, wipe away the excess with a good rag or something like that shouldn't be a problem but make sure you put plenty of adhesive he's applying a bunch to the inside Sometimes you just have to use your finger. He's a machinist though, he doesn't like getting dirty. That's not a problem. I just <laughs> want to get plenty of it up in there. And you apply to the hole and then you apply to the fitting itself. Some around the edges, like I said, extra will not hurt. <laughs> It'll, you can wipe it right away after you get your fitting locked in. Now as he's got that applied, I'm going to go back in, put the nut on the inside, and lock her down. Alright everybody, we got the new fitting installed. We can let her set up overnight, got the excess wiped off, and we ready to roll. Boat maintenance is extremely important, man. You don't get a 1985 Grady White, excuse me, 83 Grady White to just run every single day. It helps if you add a 2005 Suzuki on it that we got to add oil to and trim fluid every single time out. But, you know, it's a boat. Either way, we got a few more things to tighten up, lock down. We hope to see y'all on the water. Best of luck. Catch the fever, ladies and gents.